In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install and manage plugins inside of your WordPress installation. Once inside of your dashboard, navigate to the plugins area, hover your mouse over the plugins option, and select installed plugins. Here you will see a list of all the installed plugins in your WordPress installation. Through the use of plugins, you may infuse the type of functionality that you want out of your website, which may not have been available to you out of the box using the core installation of WordPress. A plugin that is activated on your website has three options. You can deactivate it, you can edit it, or you can modify its settings. A plugin that is deactivated has another three options. You can activate it, you can edit it, or you can delete it. A plugin that is currently activated cannot be deleted, however. I am now going to deactivate the Akismet plugin. The functionality that was provided by this plugin is no longer available on my website. I am now going to deactivate the Video Embed and Thumbnail Generator plugin. Once a plugin is deactivated, I have the option to delete them. To delete multiple plugins at the same time, all I have to do is place a check mark on the checkbox next to the plugin name. I can perform a bulk action by selecting the option from the pull down menu. Here I am going to delete all of these plugins by pressing the apply button. I will confirm that this is in fact what I want to do. And at this point, I have absolutely no plugins on my website. It is a complete raw installation of WordPress. Let's suppose I want a plugin that gives me the functionality to display videos on my website. We're going to click the Add New button. This will take me to a sort of app store, if you will, that will allow me to search for the type of plugin that I want. You have several options up here. By default, you are in the search panel. You can upload a plugin if you have downloaded one already and would like to install it from the zip file that was provided for you. You can see a list of featured plugins, which will allow you to browse various plugins that you might want to add to your website. You can check out which plugins are the most popular ones. You can check out the latest editions. And if you have previously marked certain plugins as favorites, you can pull those up at this time. Since I haven't done that yet, I don't have any on my list. Let's go ahead and click the search link. I'm going to search for a YouTube plugin, something that will allow me to embed YouTube videos on my website. I'm going to scroll down the list until I find a plugin that I like. Here's one called YouTube with Style. You can view the details of this plugin by clicking the details link. You will receive a pop-up window which will display the plugin description, installation procedures. So for example here, it's telling me that in order to embed a YouTube video, all I have to do is use the YouTube shortcode here with the video ID. There's a change log, frequently asked questions, and other notes. All right. If we are ready to install our plugin, we can click the Install Now button. You can also use the Install Now link to install any plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and install the YouTube with Style plugin. I'm being asked whether or not I'm sure that this is what I want to do. I'm going to click OK. At this point, my plugin is installed. I'm going to go to my plugins area again. And you can see that my plugin is listed in my plugins section. However, at this time the plugin is not activated, so I don't have the functionality yet. For that, we will need to click the activate link. So now that my plugin has been activated, I can begin using it. Let's go to the pages area and pull up a list of pages on my website. Currently, I have an about us page, a gallery page, and a services page. I'm going to click on the About Us page to edit it. I'm going to delete the previous content and I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. Here I have basically located a video that I want to display and uh, based on the notes from that particular plugin, 
all I need is the ID. So I'm going to take the ID, copy it, and provide the short code. With the ID. And that should be all we need. Let's click the update button to continue. And let's take a look at the page. Notice how we don't have the traditional YouTube player. Okay, so let's go back to the editing area. And now, let's take a look at some of the other options. Let's go to plugins. We're going to add a new plugin. If you notice, when you go to your website by default, while I have taken steps to make my URLs a little bit more user friendly, I would like these URLs to appear a little bit more traditional so that they appear to be standard static web pages. So let's, uh, let's look for a plugin that gives me that ability. We're going to type in a few keywords and run a search. And here's a good one, WP Page Extension. Let's go ahead and install it now. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. And once the plugin is installed, I can go back to my pages or posts. Let's take a look at all pages options. Let's go to the About Us page. And you will notice I have a new series of options. Here I have the default none selected, but I can change it to .html, .htm, PHP, XML, ASP, or SHTML. Let's select .html and click update. Now take a look at what my URL looks like. Let's click view page to continue. So now, rather than appearing as a traditional WordPress database-driven website, the page that you are now looking at appears to be, for all intents and purposes, a traditional HTML page. There's literally plugins for almost every bit of functionality that you can possibly think of, whether you want to be able to create image galleries, infuse your website with social media functionality, distribute video to other video networks such as iTunes or Roku and things of that nature. There's even plugins available that will enable you to create better layouts or even do e-commerce. So whatever the functionality that you need out of your website, there's a good chance that there's a plugin for that. So take a look at the plugins repository, run a few keywords, and see if you can find the functionality that you need. If a plugin for that is not available, then you can easily run a search on Google. You might find a commercially available one. So congratulations, you now know how to install and manage plugins in your WordPress website.